today I'm revealing the Memory Cure. It's a miracle plan to help you prevent Alzheimer's in just six simple steps. Now, meet the doctor behind it all, a game changer who can give you the power to change your own fate. We are approaching an exciting new era. We now believe memory loss can be prevented, that what we call Alzheimer's disease can indeed be slowed or reversed. The solutions are at our fingertips. Dr. Majid Fatoui is the cutting edge scientist at the center of the revolutionary new research in the fight against memory loss. This work is deeply personal to me. My father-in-law developed dementia and we observed how he declined over decades. I have dedicated my life to making sure that we can keep our memories for a lifetime. And for the first time, I have actual data to prove it. When it comes to the brain, size does matter. And a bigger brain is a better brain. I realized that memory loss was a consequence of our brain getting smaller. Normally, our brain shrinks with aging. Many factors that make our brain smaller are treatable and reversible. The good news is you can grow your brain bigger. I have put together an easy plan that everyone can do to have a healthier brain. This program does not involve surgery, and there are no drugs involved. Simple lifestyle changes are more powerful than any drugs you can take to sharpen your memory and save your brain regardless of your family history. Joining us is neurologist Dr. Majid Fatoui. Dr. Fatoui, just to cut to the chase, the medical community is still really divided about how we can treat and prevent Alzheimer's. So how is your plan different? My plan focuses on brain size. So many new research studies have shown that we can indeed slow down the shrinkage that happens with our brains starting midlife. And more excitingly, we can actually increase the size of our brain. Literally, as you said, make it bigger. Let me show you how it works. Please do. This is the brain as you often see it on the outside. This is the thinking part of the brain. This is the language part of the brain. But the part of the brain that's most important for memory is called hippocampus. Let me show you. Let's open this. Can you see it from under here? You can actually see it under here. You have one hippocampus on the left, one hippocampus on the right. It's almost the size of your thumb and sits deep inside the brain. And hippocampus size matters. People who have a bigger hippocampus do not develop Alzheimer's disease, even if they have Alzheimer's in their brain. You're kidding me. Absolutely. Right. The bigger your hippocampus, the better it is. So let's show this to you. Now, again, Dr. Putri mentioned this. This is the outside of the brain that we always think about, right? That's where all these thoughts are happening. What Dr. Putri is emphasizing is deep inside the brain, uh, way on the inside. So important, I want to show this to you. You've got this area, this continuation of the hippocampus we showed earlier. Is that the right spot? That's right. This gets larger. This is actually the part of the brain that takes all these thoughts and remembers them. And when this can get larger, which is stunning news and new information that could change all of our thoughts, not just about Alzheimer's, but about memory in general, that becomes a game changer for me. Dr. Patui Call, perhaps the most important step to preventing Alzheimer's is to do brain push-ups to grow your brain muscle. Now, when you talk, you're talking about real push-ups here. I'm talking about real push-ups. So wh why is that? How could that be related to your brain? Increasing your fitness and increasing your stamina are the best weapons against effects of aging on the brain and keeping your, your memory sharp. The exercise increases blood flow to the brain. Mm -hmm. It increases growth factors. It actually makes new brain cells appear, grow. It generates new brain cells. That's incredible. Yeah, it is incredible. Again, when, when I went to medical school, when we went to medical school, we didn't think that was possible. Can you imagine going from a place where we, we thought that you could never grow in brain cells to now understanding that you all control whether you can grow new brain cells? Not only does it happen, but you can change it. Not through things that we'll prescribe for you, not through operations, uh, but, but by things you can do like memorizing items and developing stories and writing backwards. So wonderful insights. Now, Dr. Fatui is a competitive young man. He has challenged me to a push-up contest. Is that right? <laughs> Let's do it. All right, we're going to do some push-ups here. Let's see how I, let's see how you grow some brain cells. There we are. Are you ready? All right. No. Are you going to do one-legged push-ups? Oh, come on now. One-legged. Yes. Yeah. All right, everybody. The final step in the play to protect your brain from Alzheimer's is this brain diet. Stick around for it. You're going to love it.
Alzheimer's is a brain disease that affects millions. But is it the reason you're having trouble with your memory? Many baby boomers feel that when they forget things, they may be developing the first signs of Alzheimer's. And that is absolutely wrong. Join Dr. Majid Fatouhi for a closer look at the human mind and his six steps to keep your brain young. Start with passion. Be excited about your brain and your brain health. Your brain's ability to do things is almost endless. An instructor at both Johns Hopkins and Harvard Medical School, he shares his stories of those who feared the worst. Because two of her sisters and her mother were diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. With tips on diet, brain exercises, and a visit with New York Times crossword puzzle editor Will Shorts. If you want to ward off Alzheimer's disease decades later, you need to start your fight today. All this and more on Fight Alzheimer's Early. Six steps to keep your brain young with Dr. Majid Fatui. Can crossword puzzles really help keep your brain young? Leading neuroscientist, Dr. Fatui is ready to give your brain a workout. So please welcome my dream team of doctors, Dr. Erica Swartz to the show. <laughs> Dr. Timothy Brantley, Dr. Majid Fatui, and Dr. John Diaz. Welcome to all the show. I'm telling you, are you kidding me? I brought together a panel of probably the most distinguished doctors, doctors around the country. I'm telling you, when I read this and saw this, crosswords to keep your brain young, and you start thinking about all the information I hear about Alzheimer's, the fact that Alzheimer's is on a rise here in the United States of America. Everybody's worried about the last time that somebody asked them, hey, what was that phone number you went? Uh, Whose <laughs> phone number? Uh, <laughs> Uh, and then you go home and go, I must be getting old. <laughs> I got old Alzheimer's. I have some good news for I got, you. Uh, what's that? 99% of people who are in their 50s and even 60s don't have Alzheimer's disease, period. Okay. 99%. 99%. 99%. All right, so what, what, you trying to bust me out of here? Okay, I'm in my 50s. <laughs> oh, okay, so I'm in my 50s, but what, what, look at this audience. It's got everybody across the gamut here, young to middle-aged to, to senior citizens. What could we all be doing every day to make sure we try to keep this brain of ours intact? Well, there are five things you could do, and i just tell you quickly now. First thing is stop having stress. Stress is really bad for your brain. It kills the memory, parts <laughs> of the, cell, the memory part of the brain more so than other parts. The other thing is take your blood pressure. Blood pressure is a silent killer. It's really bad for you. Keep your brain active. If you do crossword puzzles, it really keeps your brain active. And did you know that exercise is better for your heart than it's better for your brain than for your heart? Exercise. Exercise. The idea behind this practice is to make your brain younger. So many research studies have shown that certain factors can shrink the brain, but also many factors can increase the size of your brain and make it sharper. At Neurology Institute, we work with a team of experts. We have a sleep specialist, we have a neuropsychologist, we also offer meditation classes or other group lessons to teach about the brain, brain health, and how we can make your brain better with aging. We call this institute the Neurology Institute for Brain Health and Fitness. And it is exactly what it says. Here, we do a brain fitness evaluation. We give a score to our participants, to our patients. And then we try to increase their brain health and their brain size. For each patient, I put together a brain fitness score. It combines objective findings, with information from the patients. And then I work with them to improve that score so that by nine months, they have better memory, bigger brain, and they're actually feeling happier. 
people often feel better about themselves as well. To tell them they don't have Alzheimer's disease, that they can improve their memory, and they can increase the size of their brain, and protect their brain against late-life Alzheimer's really impacts their life greatly.